Find a safe river edge away from deeper pools or fast flowing waters. Target areas of the river bank with finer sediment, typically in depositional areas in backwater sections of rivers. So we are going to collect sediment samples in two jars. Label the jars with the sampling code, site location, date, time, along with your initials. After labeling the jars, use nitrile gloves to open the lid, taking care not to touch the inside of the jars. Then, to collect sediments, simply use the bottom lip of the jar as a scoop to collect the top 2 centimeters of flood deposited sediment from river edges. Recently deposited sediments are more likely to have pollutants from the floods that may pose risk to humans and animals. Try to avoid scooping any gravel or leaves or other coarse organic debris into the jars. Remember, don't touch the inside of the jar and don't touch sediment with your gloves, just use the edge of the glass jar. Continue scooping sediment until the first jar is full. As you sample, gently tap the bottom of the glass on the ground to condense the sediment sample. Once the first jar is full, you can scrape off any extra material using the lid and then seal the lid tightly around the jar. Wipe off any sediment from the outside of the jar using your gloves. Then continue sampling using the second jar. Once the second jar is full, replace the lid and wipe the outside of the jar. If you have a plastic bag, it is useful to put both the jars inside to avoid dirt in the esky. Place both jars on ice and organize return shipping to the labs for analysis as soon as possible. Finally, complete any necessary sample records electronically or on paper and make notes on any relevant observations.